Hey KMC, it's Pastor Evan uh, with another reflection for you this Monday afternoon, March 30th. As we continue to self-quarantine, we've probably by now found a lot of things to do with all the free time we have. And so we find ourselves to be busy again. This is particularly true if you're a parent and you have kids who are now back into their studies. They're taking their online classes. And so you find yourself in the role of homeschool teacher slash facilitator. So there's a lot going on. In our households we are busy and with that I'd like us to consider uh, somebody who is very busy uh, in the New Testament Martha and her sister Mary this is from Luke chapter 10 Martha and Mary and they had a brother brother named Lazarus they're close friends personal friends of Jesus Christ and in Luke chapter 10 Jesus goes to visit with them and Martha is busy getting the house ready getting the food ready getting ready to host the guests and in the midst of that, Jesus is sitting there, and Mary is sitting at Jesus' feet, listening to him. She's not helping get anything ready. And of course, Martha notices that, and she gets frustrated, so she goes up to Jesus, and she says, Jesus, can you tell Mary to get up and help me? There's so much to be done. And Jesus answers Martha like this, chapter 10, verse 41. The Lord answered her, Martha, Martha. You are anxious and troubled about many things, but one thing is necessary. Mary has chosen the good portion, which will not be taken away from her. Now, Martha gets a bad rap, but you have to notice that Jesus is not rebuking Martha. This is a very loving response. Uh, Martha, Martha, he repeats her name and then uh, he says, you're, you're anxious and you're troubled about many things. He is uh, acknowledging, almost validating the fact that Martha is busy and she is stressed out. Uh, but then Jesus turns the attention to Mary and says, there's, there's one thing that's necessary, which is what Mary is doing, sitting at my feet and, and listening to me. Not that the other things are unimportant. They are unimportant. There are things that need to be done. But in the midst of all the business, there's one thing that's necessary. You need to sit at my feet. You need to listen to me. This is what Mary has chosen to do, and it will not be taken away from her. And here's where this comes to us, is in our busyness, in all we have to do, are we spending time sitting at our Lord's feet? and listening to him, hearing his voice, reading the word, that is the one thing that is necessary. Now, I know many of you will say, I just don't have time because I'm so busy, especially in this season. We are busy because there's so much to do at home. And to that, let me just say that it isn't about how much time you spend with the Lord. Uh, it isn't about the quality of the time that you spend with the Lord. It's about the Lord that you spend your time with. It's about the Jesus who will meet you in the midst of your busyness, whether you only have five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, he will meet with you if you take the time to do the necessary thing to meet with your Lord. Um, John chapter 11 has another account of Jesus ministering to Martha and Mary, but the situation is a lot different. In John 11, their brother, their brother Lazarus uh, died, and so Jesus goes to meet with them, and the first person he meets is Martha. And Martha is processing the death, and uh, she goes to Jesus, and she says to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. And then, of course, in, in the midst of that, Jesus ministers to Martha with these powerful words about the resurrection. He says, uh, I, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, uh, yet shall he live. So he, he gives Martha exactly what she needs in her state. And then he sees Mary. And, and Mary says the exact same words. It's the exact same words in the story. Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. 
But Mary is processing Lazarus' death a lot different. She's in tears. She's weeping. And uh, what does Jesus do? Does he give her the words that he gave to Martha? No. He weeps. He weeps with her. He understands and sympathizes with what she's going through. And in that, she is ministered to. So our Lord is going to minister to us where we are, what situation we're going through. And we have faith in that. And so I want to encourage you, KMC, continue in the midst of this busy time, continue to sit at the feet of your Lord and allow him to lift you up, whether it's through words or just validating and walking with you through what you're going through. Spend time with your Lord. God bless you, KMC.